Welcome back to the Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. We have another Warhammer 40k battle report for you today. We are doing 2,000 points, Black Templars versus Death Guard. We're going to be playing from the Maelstrom of War missions in Chapter Approved 2017. We're going to be playing Kill Confirmed. So we have six objectives. You cannot discard the objectives that you draw that are in regards to destroying an enemy unit. And uh, you also score one point for each enemy unit that you destroy as the game goes along. Um, so should be lots of killing. Uh, that's kind of what it's designed for. We're going to be playing imp uh, Hammer and Anvil uh, with the Black Templar on the left-hand side of the table, Death Guard on the right. We'll be right back with the armies. Okay, so the Black Templars are organized into a battalion. First HQ in the Warlord is a captain. He's carrying the Teeth of Terra and his Warlord trade is Rites of War. Second HQ is the Emperor's Champion. Then uh, in the troop slot, I have two squads of nine Crusaders. They're equipped with two power swords and a melt -a gun and they are mounted in a pair of stock rhinos. And then I have a squad of ten Crusaders with bolters. They have a multi melt -a and a melt -a gun and the sergeant also has a power sword. And they are mounted in a stock rhino. Then in the fast attack slots, I have a squad of three Inceptors with uh, assault bolters and a 10-man assault squad with three plasma pistols, and the sergeant also has a power sword and a combat shield. In the elites, I have a squad of three aggressors with flamestorm gauntlets, and then uh, rounding out their transport, I have a... Uh, a repulsor with all of its anti-infantry uh, set up and finishing out the list in the three heavy support slots I have a trio of Vindicators. All right, next up we have the Death Guard contribution to this battle. We are organized into a battalion and an outrider. Uh, for our battalion, we have a newly painted Chaos Lord. Uh, we're going to see how he works. Not sure if I like the Toughness 4 with the uh, No Disgustingly Resilient. But we're going to try him out to lead the Terminators. He's joined with a Malignant Plague Caster. We then have the five Terminators we've been running. So they have five or four Combi Plasmas and a Blight Launcher and a mix of Swords and Axes. We then have three uh, Plague Marine Squads. Two of them have two Plasma Guns each and are mounted in a Rhino. And then we also have a third squad that has two of the Plague Spewers and a Champion with a Power Fist, also mounted in a Rhino. Going over to the Outrider, we have our Warlord and our Demon Prince. Uh, he is going to have the Suppurating Plate and Arch Contaminator as usual. And he is going to be surrounded for this game by a swarm of uh, Bloat Drones. He has two that we traditionally have played with the Plague Spitters and the Probes. And then we have two that we have just finished painting that have uh, Heavy Blight Launchers. So we're going to give this new list a try. You have seen the armies and you have seen the table. We will be back as we get stuck into the Maelstrom. All right, deployment is complete. The uh, Death Guard were able to finish first by one unit. Uh, we did go ahead and put our Terminator Lord and his uh, Blight Lords in Deep Strike. Uh, we have the four drones along with the Demon Prince consolidated on this flank. And then we have the three Rhinos lined up here. Uh, plasma gun squads are on the left and the far right tank has the plague spewers and the uh, malignant plague caster. Josh, walk us down these Templar. So we set our Templar up with all of our armored support on our far left and uh, all of our infantry on our right as a kind of counter, I guess, to the uh, plague marine squads. We did deploy one squad up on the gantry way. We take advantage of some uh, superior sight lines in a little higher position and the extra armor save from the cover. Um, the Emperor's Champion's in the center, and the Captain is all the way on the far right here under the gantry way. Mm -hmm. And you got your uh, Assault Marines and your Inceptors in reserve, right? Yes. All right, so uh, we've gone about eight games in a row with the guy with plus one not going first. So Death Guard are getting the plus one. Uh, we've got a five. So the Black Temple only need a five at least to keep it alive. With a two, they will not. So string broken. Death Guard will be going first. We'll be spreading out because I can smell a line breaker bombardment coming. Uh, and we will be back once that is finished. All right, the Death Guard begin the game with Secure Objective 6, Disgusting Devotions, and Master the Warp. Uh, so we're going to score Master the Warp. We did score cast three Psychic Powers. We cast two from the Plague Caster and one from the Demon Prince. So that will give us a D3 there, which we rolled a 3 for. Um, and then secure objective six, which we did take. So we're going to score four points. We're going to discard disgusting devotion. Seven in one turn is kind of a tall order, especially early in the game. 
Uh, we went ahead and spread out here to try to make the line breaker bombardment less effective. Uh, the only thing that was in range to shoot was the two heavy blight launcher drones, and they are definitely earning their paint job. Uh, they put 10 wounds in this Vindicator, left it with one remaining. If I had any other shots, but uh, it is still going to hang out for at least one more turn. Uh, the rest of the army just advanced and blew smoke. Uh, the Marines in the lead rhino with the flamethrowers went ahead and jumped out and ran. Uh, and the plague caster joined them up the back there. Uh, we then played cloud of flies on them to prevent them from taking any damage in this coming turn because there is a repulsor up here and we might be plague marines. Uh, but we are not enough Plague Marines to survive 40 shots, I don't believe. Uh, so that's the end of the Death Guard, turn one. Black Templar response is coming up next. All right, the Templar is starting this turn with Secure Objective 2, Defend Objective 6, and Mission Critical Objective on 1. Josh, walk us down your turn, sir. So uh, we advanced, or I say we advanced, we moved up all of our uh, Vindicators to get a Line Breaker Bombardment. We had to abandon Objective 2 in order to do it, but in the long term... And totally worth it. <laughs> Hindsight Splat! Being is, uh, they uh, rolled up uh, 9 wounds off of the Rhino, and... Eight wounds on the uh, Plague Marines. The Plague Marines failed uh, seven of their eight disgustingly resilient, and boom, they are dust. Rest in pieces, gentlemen. So that will be a first blood score. Yep. Um, we moved the the empty Rhino up to advance to the point of charging, and then in the assault phase, we are charging the uh, one wound Rhino in an effort to kind of pin it in place, prevent it from being able to soak up Overwatch for other things. The Repulsor let go with half, with its small arms at the one wound Rhino and couldn't get through and then let go with its strength 5 negative 1 guns on the other Rhino and knocked 3 points out of it. Um, the Melta guns from the squad on the Gantraway tried to fire at the empty Rhino. It's the only thing they had range and line of sight to and whiffed. Two ones. Huh. But uh, the Repulsor did make a charge into both Rhinos on the back side, and the Rhino up front did make a charge into the one wound Rhino. All right, we'll be back after the assault phase. Okay, so the close combat was a gong show, but uh, we are jockeying for a position at this point with two plasma toting squads that are still in their Rhinos. So uh, ultimately not a real loss there. Uh, the Black Templar will score three points for this turn. Uh, one for first blood, one for killing the squad that was First Blood, and one for uh, Mission Critical for securing Objective 1 with the Rhino down here. Yep, so that will leave it at 4-3 to three going into Turn 2. Uh, Death Guard Response coming up next. Death Guard are starting turn two with secure objective four, area denial, and behind enemy lines. We went ahead and moved our drone wall up in an attempt to engage these Vindicators. Uh, their Plague Spitter fire was able to cut down the White Vindicator. It did not explode, uh, and we were able, between them and the Blight Launchers, to bring this uh, Vindicator down to three points. We also teleported our Terminators and Chaos Lord in back here, and uh, we went ahead and got the squad out on the end. The Rhino self-repaired, got, got a second point in the game. Uh, his squad jumped out over here. He peeled out of combat, and the second squad disembarked to join them here in the center uh, in range of the Demon Prince so that the plasma couldn't hurt us. Um, we ended up uh, firing one squad of them and the Terminators to the gantry way, and we annihilated all ten Marines up there. Uh, the other squad actually was what brought this down to three points. We put it at like five or six, and the, Terminator, or the second squad of Marines knocked it to three. So we're charging this Vindicator with uh, one drone and the Prince, this Vindicator with two drones, and uh, we attempted a charge on the Emperor's Champion's Rhino uh, with the Terminators, but we rolled an eight and we're unable to make it. We're gonna work these combats real quick and then we will be back. Death Guard Assault phase rolls to an end. Uh, we were able to uh, destroy the three-point Vindicator with the Demon Prince who consolidated to the other Vindicator. Uh, we were able to do it one wound with the Plague Probes from the other two. Uh, down here, we lost one wound from the Rhino for the Repulsor. Other than that, that was about it for the damage. Uh, so for the turn, we're going to score two for behind enemy lines because we have three units back here. The D3 was a two. We're going to secure objective four, which is the objective here by the Plate Caster. And uh, we scored three dead units, two Vindicators and a, and a Crusader squad. Um, so that'll be six for the turn. All right, uh, so that puts us at 10 to three in favor of the Death Guard. Black Templar are coming back in the bottom of turn two. All right, for turn three, the Black Templars have secure one, defend six, and secure five. Josh, walk us down your turn, sir. So we fell back with the Vindicator down here to get within three inches of objective five so that we would score that point. 
we moved uh, two empty rhinos because we got the squads out and fell back with the other uh, rhino that was in combat down onto objective one to secure it. We got both of our crusader squads out and our emperor's champion. The captain got out down here behind the stanchion on the far side of the death guard rhinos. We combined all the fire that we could put down out of the repulsor and the two squads onto the back squad of plague marines and wiped them. The repulsor yep. came up big time. Yeah, he got, I think, six of the seven, didn't he? Yes. I think he got one elsewhere. And then um, with the shooting put through, the front squad charged onto the death guard, mm -hmm. lost a man to overwatch, but did make combat. And then the emperor's champion made his charge. The second squad declared a double charge on the wounded rhino and the squad, made theirs, and the captain declared a double charge on the two rhinos and managed to make it in there. And the aggressors, who fired on this uh, oh, yeah, we rhino, about that. scored 24 hits, six wounds, and killed it. He played a putrid detonation, knocked three wounds out of my uh, repulsor, killed one of my <laughs> aggressors, and uh, took a wound on his yes. plague caster. Glorious plague for everyone involved. All right, so we're ready for the assault phase, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we will be back. Okay, so close combat wraps to an end. Uh, the aggressors lost a marine to the plague caster, holy crap, and then only dealt him one wound. So <laughs> the fat old man continues in his legacy. Yes, he did. Uh, he did uh, counterattack though and killed one of them. So in all fairness, the only one got to swing at him. The uh, captain killed the wounded rhino, mm -hmm. which did not blow up. Thank goodness that would have been very bad for those uh, <laughs> crusaders. The crusaders lost one man to combat and combined to knock down three uh, plague marines in the process between the, the two squads and the emperor's champion. All right, so uh, what are we looking at for score? We said five points, right? Because we scored uh, three dead units, secure five and secure one. Uh, so that'll put it 10 to 8, still barely in favor of the Death Guard, but very much still a ball game. Uh, we will be back with the Death Guard in turn four. All right, for Death Guard turn four, uh, we have Spread Contagion, Area Denial, and Kingslayer. Our character for Spread Contagion is going to be the Demon Prince. Um, we went ahead and moved all of the drones and the prince up here to start working on these marines. Uh, the plague caster continued in his usual fashion. Uh, he was able to smite the aggressor down and then throw Curse of the Leper here and kill three marines plus one for pestilential fallout. Uh, the rest of them went down to uh, shooting from the various drones. We went ahead and focused all of their shooting. Uh, with the exception of the first plague spitter drone, uh, it fired down on the emperor's champion and laid him low. Down down here the Terminator's rapid fired, leaving the Rhino at two points. Uh, Blight Launcher finished it off with a volley from its weapons. Um, we then, or no, it was the Terminator Lord. Uh, we left it at one point after the Blight Launcher. Terminator Lord killed it with his rapid firing bolter. Um, in the assault phase, uh, we tried to make it with these two drones, rolled abysmally for their range, so they were unable to charge these Marines. Uh, but we did get both of the Plague Spitter drones in, and the Demon Prince leapt over the combat to challenge his, uh, his opposite in the Black Temple Army. So we're going to see a war between the Warlords here. Um, we will be back after we have completed the assault phase. Death Guard Assault Phase rolls to an end. The two drones were able to bring down a whopping two Marines. Uh, the others made their five-up saves and uh, they chopped one wound out of this drone. Over here, uh, the prince lost three wounds to the captain. Uh, he dealt three wounds back in return, so he's sitting at two, I'm sitting at five. Went ahead and consolidated and closed the rhino in to keep him from falling back, um, and the uh, repulsor uh, was able to get in range there uh, through his attacks and was able to wound me, made my save, uh, and was not able to get the separating plate off. Down here we did two wounds. Um, he did two back, but I did make my saves. Uh, so that is going to be the end of the Death Guard turn. We're going to score four points for units. So that's going to make it 14 to 8. Um, we will be back with the Black Templar in the bottom of three. All right, Black Templar has brought up Overwhelming Firepower, Advance, and Secure Objective 1. Josh, walk us down what you've done so far. So we'll start with the good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, the Inceptors, Deep Struck in, 18 inches out because there's no reason to risk and guarantee that they died to the drones that are swarming the center of the table and they pulped the plague caster with their assault bolters. Yep, little surprise there. 
The uh, repulsor slid out of combat and pulped the squad of Plague Marines in the centers, making this, if I'm not mistaken, the very first game that the Death Guard have lost every troop in the army. Yep, like you said, pulping. A lot of pulpage. A lot of pulpage. All the Marines are down. All right, um, what else? We fired pistols into the combat. No effect there. And then the star MVPs of our freaking army today <laughs> were the assault marines who overcharged their plasma and all three of them burned themselves to death in the process. No so, joke. Three ones. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw it first here. And then they wounded a Terminator with their bolt pistols. Yeah. And then proceeded to fail their charge against the Terminator Lord, who, by the way, is tough four with no disgustingly resilient would have been a right target for seven assault marines to jump. Yep. No dice. Terrible luck. Alright. Oh, and the Vindicator. Don't forget him. Yeah, the Vindicator... Slides out, rolls up his shots, one shot. And he missed. Fantastic. No, he hit. Oh, uh, yeah, and he rolled a one to wound. You're right. One to wound. All right. Well, that, them's the breaks, unfortunately. The bad news bears that are the Black Templars continue to impress. All right. Uh, we got a couple of assaults to work, and then we will be back. All right. So, combat rolls to an end. Uh, the captain made a valiant effort, but. Uh, couldn't manage to kill himself with the suppurating plate, so the demon prince obliged him and uh, cleaved the last two wounds out. The marines in the middle couldn't get any damage to stick. The disgustingly resilient rolls on the on the wounds that we did get through came up for him. And uh, how many did we lose? Two. Two more marines got chewed up. Yeah, two more marines went down. All right, so that's going to be game. We're going to go ahead and tap out there. Um, it is 17 to 10 in favor of the Death Guard at that point because we scored Kingslayer, uh, Slay the Warlord, and a point for his Lord. Uh, he scored two points for the turn, which leaves it at 17 to 10. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and tap out there with all that plasma free to shoot over here from the Cataphract Terminators. That's just going to be the end of his stuff in his backfield, and he's going to be down to a little bit of nothing. So we're going to go ahead and call it there. Um, we will have after action reviews and army lists at the blog as always. Be sure to give us a like on Facebook. That's the best way to see our new content as it comes out. A subscription on YouTube is appreciated more than you know. And make sure you hit the little bell to make sure that you get notifications whenever we put new stuff up. As always, guys, thanks for spending time with us today at the Maelstrom.